Let's move on to the third main topic today. And our third main topic today gets sent in to us from Skates, who writes, Charter Cable and Disney announced they are teaming up to combat account sharing for streaming services. I'm willing to bet that the majority of people share at least one account. Either they share with, other, with others or use an account belonging to somebody else. What are your thoughts on account sharing? Do you believe people will be compelled to subscribe if sharing is made more challenging or taken away altogether, or will people just stop using their ser those services? All right, thanks a lot for the question. And yeah, this is actually, nobody's talking about this, but I believe this is a big deal for those of us who are consumers of entertainment. I think this, is, this issue is actually a pretty big deal. So what he's talking about is this story came out where Disney and Charter, now Charter owns the Spectrum Internet Providing Service, and for full disclosure, I am a customer of, uh, I mean, I don't work for them, but I am a customer of uh, Spectrum. That's whose internet I use. I use Spectrum because the United States laws regarding internet service providers are ancient and stupid and give monopolies to the internet companies, but whatever, I have no choice. I can either use Spectrum or I can use some dial-up modem. I really have no choice because that's how stupid it is here anyway. Uh, they are my internet service provider. So they put out an announcement together saying, yeah, they're going to be cracking down on this stuff. Now, this story comes to us from Fast Company, and they wrote the following. Charter appears to be making progress in its crusade against people who share their cable TV logins with others. As part of a new uh, carriage agreement between Charter, which operates the Spectrum brand, and Disney, the two companies say they will work together to implement business rules and techniques to address such issues as unauthorized access and password sharing. The problem is that it's hard to restrict without inconveniencing legitimate customers, and tighter streaming limits may not even do too much to discourage sharers. In February, a survey by cordcutting.com found that 16.5% of Hulu viewers were using a login from somebody else. So you might not think off the top of your head, oh, 16.5%, that's a small number. That's not a big deal. 16.5, that's just a tiny little number. Actually, it's a very, very significant number. Imagine you had total to your name, $10,000. Total to your name. In, in my case, $10,000 would be two months living expenses. All right, it's expensive to live here in LA. Okay, so $10,000 would represent two months living expenses. Now imagine 16.5% of that was stolen away. And now I'm left with, well, just roughly $8,400. Now that is less than two months expenses. That's over one month expense, but it's less than two months living expenses. Now that's a big chunk. That's a big chunk. I know 16% doesn't sound like a big number, but it is a significant chunk. We shouldn't underestimate that. All right. What do I think about the notion of companies like Charter, like Disney, trying to crack down because you're right. I know people who password share for Netflix or password share for Hulu or password share their cable credentials so they can use the streaming apps of certain networks. I know people who've done that. Absolutely. What do I think about that? Well, I mean, to be honest, it, it is stealing. I mean, look, and I know, no, this is not the popular thing to say. I know that, but I'm never afraid to say the unpopular thing. So here we go. When somebody creates a product or a service that is meant for sale, and then you find a way to take that product or service without paying for it, that's stealing. The people providing that service or that product have done so with the intention of it being for sale and that customers can enjoy their service or product if they pay for it. And when we find ways to circumvent paying for it and are able to just take it and enjoy that service or that product without paying the creators of it, that's stealing. Nobody likes to talk about that. And, and it's not the cool thing to say. It's cool to say piracy's a-okay. It, it, that's the cool thing to say. And if I wanted to be cool and be popular, that's what I would say. But the reality is, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. So on the one hand, I can't really blame personally 
I can't blame companies like a charter or like a Disney that's getting ready to launch their Disney Plus service, and they don't want people just one person getting the service and sharing it, the password with two or three of their friends. They don't want that happening. Charter doesn't want that happening. Uh, Spectrum doesn't want that happening. So I can totally get why I would say Disney companies like Disney and these providers are justified in trying to find ways to crack down on that stuff. I think they're justified in doing it. Is it the wise thing to do? It, like it said in the Fast Company article, the challenge here is going to be that how do you find ways to do that without inconveniencing the legitimate customers, right? Like I pay for Hulu. I have Hulu. I, I pay for Hulu and whatever. How can you find ways to make sure people aren't just sharing around passwords so everybody's stealing the Hulu service for free without making it cumbersome and inconvenient for me to use my legitimate usage of Hulu. And that's going to be the big challenge. That is going to be a challenge for them to do moving into the future. Now, do I think borrowing a password is amongst the great sins? No, <laughs> no, I really don't. I mean, a lot of these service provide things that, Hey, you can be streaming up to two, uh, two on two different devices at the same time. Some would even say you can stream up to like three or four or five devices at the same time. It's almost built in where they're almost like inviting you to share your password with some people. So still in theory, is it right? No, it's not right. But it isn't amongst the great sins. No, it's not amongst the great sins either. But again, I think there's enough there that it says that a company like Disney and Charter are justified to try to find ways just to make sure that people don't steal their product. I have no problem with that. I, I understand that. Now, under the question of, do I think this will spur some people who are using borrowed passwords to then go and get the service? Yes. Do I think there are some people who are using borrowed passwords that will then just turn around and just not use the service at all? Yes. The answer to both the questions is yes. Yes, some people who borrow passwords will then just sign up. Well, they'll bite the bullet and just sign up for the service themselves. And then there will be some people that just go, well, if I can't get Hulu for free or Netflix for free or Crackle for free or whatever it is, if I can't just get it for free, I'm just not going to get it. There will be those people as well. And I think it's going to be an even split. So I think out of those 16%, I think half of those, about 8%, will say, okay, I'll sign up for the service because I like the service and I want to get it. And then there'll be the other 8% that'll go, mm, yeah, well, then I'm just not going to watch it at all. But still, at the end of the day, I think these companies are justified in doing it. What do you guys think about the notion of these companies just cracking down and saying, we just don't want people to steal our stuff? Is that unreasonable for them? Clearly, I don't think so. But maybe you've got some arguments as to why maybe it is unreasonable. I want to hear what you guys think about this. Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.